Uganda is beginning to ease the lockdown put in place to curb the spread of COVID-19, and there is no doubt that the population has to get back to work. However, this easing is being done with care to avoid a situation where new infections spiral out of control. To achieve this, face masks, regular hand washing, and physical distancing will be the new normal that we have to adapt to. With this in mind, medical experts continue to urge the public to adhere to the guidelines even in the most difficult conditions. Physical distancing is very, very important. And therefore, people should avoid crowds. And in case uh, one is unable to physically distance, then there a mask becomes very, very important. If one hand washes up to five times a day, he can protect uh, himself from uh, 80 to, I mean, up to 80 percent of infectious diseases which are trans, uh, transmitted by hands. The Ministry of Health has since explained the recommended masks for use in public areas. So these are the kind of masks made out of fabric that we encourage the population to use. The masks should be two-layered with a filter material like a paper towel, coffee filter. It should be wide enough to cover the nose, the mouth and the chin. Kampala, for example, on a normal working day accumulates up to 5 million people. These numbers concentrated in the central business district means there will be a need for vigilance both from the public and the law enforcement teams, especially for things like face masks. But the health experts say this is a tall order. In our circumstances, how do you do it in the markets? How do you do it in public places? So you'll find that some public places uh, have to change. Part of the regulations and guidelines for places of work is having to put in place hand washing facilities, but these may not stop people from touching surfaces like rails of storied buildings, which can harbor the infectious virus. Especially shops, malls, and so on and so forth. Uh, because, of course, it's not just about uh, distancing alone, but it is also uh, about uh, people sneezing or coughing and those uh, and what they have sneezed or coughed uh, goes on to various surfaces where uh, the jam will stay for a long time. Meaning that apart from people washing their hands, uh, sanitizing, it, uh, they require actually to uh, even uh, make sure that uh, surfaces of people are going to touch are properly cleaned. But, uh, if you are going out to public places, the health experts advise that you be keen on how you use things like masks to avoid exposure to infection. Please wash your hands before you enter. Eh? Use soap before you enter or someone holding a sanitizer so that uh, he can, he's the one even uh, who uses it on you so that you just don't because I've seen some people just giving their only one hand. The Ministry of Health has also warned that you may be penalized if you don't adhere to the precautions. Wearing masks is mandatory in Uganda. You will be denied access to any public facility without a mask. Our interaction with some members of the public revealed some level of understanding for this new normal. <laughs> Tulino kuraba anti echisoka, netumanya anti tulino kuna mungalo. Masikizino kubeira kumumwa, atetu yigene ngeri jebazi koze santi wabuwa yogira. Toji jako, atoso bolo kogira uwa, sigara ni masiki yoku mumwa, oyogire ni kastoma guwa ufunye kuduka liyo. Scientists across the globe put efforts together to find an antidote for the COVID-19 infection. The government here is locked down in thought on how to implement some of the preventive guidelines, for example, physical distancing. And this is because the nature of our society dictates a lot of interaction. For example, crowded streets, malls and arcades. How will this be done? Only time will tell. Walter Mwesije, NTV.